OCO. It's a link to generations past. Oshi was there. The language of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, that distinct sound. Shki, thank you. Is on the edge of extinction. The amount of people today that know the language is very small. There's less than 300 speakers, fluent speakers, that exist today. Fewer than 300 in North Carolina, where two centuries after Sequoia developed the written language, one symbol for each of its 80 plus syllables. The push to preserve it is strong. It's really important to us just to preserve that for our family and for our people, just so that uh, they understand where they come from. It's, it's their cultural identity. In places like Cherokee, North Carolina, where history and tourism blend, the future may be in the hands of Nugadua Academy. 90 students are enrolled here, including Kevin Tafoyas and Monica Wildcats. <laughs> Cherokee is taught early on. Most lessons, in fact, are in Cherokee. What happens when once all our speakers are gone, our fluent speakers? You know, we have to have these children here to help carry it on. And if it wasn't for this school, they wouldn't be able to do that. The preservation effort extends across the country, from the Appalachians to the Great Plains. There's a similar program in Oklahoma. I feel like if we don't have the Cherokee language, we're not, we're not even Cherokee. We're just, we're just mainstream America. For a new generation, a chance to save history. Alex Sands, The Associated Press, Cherokee, North Carolina.